Scoop up chickens ten at a time, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chickens. I have a tray with ten. I have a tray with ten. I have a big mouth. I do not have a big mouth. <laughs> Oh, 
and he'll be so kind, I can safely say he'll do 30 good deeds before he's 10. <gasps> 30 good deeds, such pressure on a tot. I think he can do it. But maybe not. This could be a big problem. Yeah. Wait, here's a thought I hadn't thunk. Why not do those deeds? Chunk by chunk. his 100 chickens. Who are not going crazy. Chicken sitting has never been so easy, which means Cat and I have time to do... A puzzle, a puzzle. We razzle and we dazzle. Every time we do a puzzle. The shapes give us clues. Where things go. In without. Out within. And smooth and smooth like so. Woohoo! It's, it's all about, about that shape, about that shape, no trouble. trouble. It's all about that shape, about that shape with a puzzle. Excuse me, I wonder if that piece might go over there. Uh, that's a really good suggestion, Hog. But we're on a roll here, just the two of us doing the puzzle. That's how we d d duzzle. Thanks anyway. We're on a total. Dazzling, dazzling. Busy sizzling. Puzzle tear. We're, we're a perfect, perfect puzzle making pair. The chickens! <laughs> they made a pyramid and they can't get down. Chickens! I told you guys. You can get into any flat shape you want. You can make squares or triangles, no problem. They just lie flat. But this pyramid is a tall, solid shape. It has height and goes straight up. If you don't come down just right, you could hurt yourselves. Cheap! That means we're sorry, but help in chicken. We've got a big problem. Well, we're figuring this one out. Can we get back to the puzzle? It, you puzzling genius. Huh? To get the chickens down, let's do some puzzle making in reverse. Okay. <laughs> no, cat. 
I mean, let's take the pyramid apart. One triangle at a time to get the chickens down. Tea tog I mean, got it. Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. Problem solved. For our next act, Arch Villain is here to sing about arches. Huh? An arch is a line that is curved up in the center, like this. Take it away, Arch. Arches are something I long for. They're bendy, curvaceous, like so. <laughs> Other shapes I don't feel strong for. I wish that they all would just go. While I find all arches the cutest, there's a kind that I love most of all. My favorite arch attribute is tall, tall, tall. <laughs> Nothing quite so gorgeous. Tall arches, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Purple, green, or blue, any hue will do. I don't give a hoot if it's made of rocks or fruit. Tall arches, there's nothing so inspiring. Tall arches, no, nothing can compare. Now you've heard my case, let's put a plan in place. To build and build and build, arch lovers will be thrilled. Tall arches there and there, tall arches everywhere, <laughs> to cover every nation, one in wall, with arches that are tall. <laughs> All right, a song and a plan to take over the world with arches. Let's see what the judges thought. Arch villain, I found your act, um, how do you say? <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> yes. Is a word. I give you a five. Uh oh. Roxanne only gave the arch villain five stars. If he's got one, two, three, four, five, he needs one, two, three, four, five more stars to get a perfect ten. But the grumpy grouchy bear will never give a score that high. Because he's so grumpy and grouchy. Maybe more fruit will cheer him up. <laughs> I think he's looking for a plum. But there aren't any plums left. Whoa. Maybe he'd like soft and squishy pillows. Uh, um, is he smiling? I think so. Ah! Grumpy Grouchy Bear gave Arch Villain three stars. Five plus three is... <laughs> only eight. Arch Villain still needs two more stars to get a ten. You mean I didn't win? <laughs> Why don't you try offering him one of my balls of yarn? I never leave home without a few of these delightful spheres. That's so... what a great... Oh, wow. Thanks, Roxanne. Can I offer you some yarn? Ah, is he clapping? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> five stars! <laughs> Plus Roxanne's five stars equals... Ten stars! Arch villain, you got a perfect ten. I did it! My plan is complete! <laughs> we made it to the contest. And so, problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. So everything is awesome sauce. Problem solved. And for our last act, a little girl and her cat and three teenagers. Satisfy their urge to buy accessories and junk food. The situation had Peg in a funk dude. Thanks, Jesse. The Mega Mall is so enormous. No Abigail or Matt Malone was able to inform us. The teens were running free. Where could they be in this big mall? But then the mode suggested that we should all look for attributes. Attributes. Like color, shape, and size. Attributes. Attributes can help you organize a group that's too diverse and dense into smaller groups that make more sense. So finally, everything computes. Thanks to attributes. Go cat! Yep, attributes can help you distinguish between one thing and another. Max 
cat is white and really tall. The pig looks hip in suits. Ludwig's hair looks good big. It's messy wild. Who's clay? This guy's trapezoid. And that's okay. Connie has a dress with floral print. If you like it, I can get you one. Ramon sells frozen yogurt that looks green. And tastes like mint. Yum. Cat is bluish purple. Or is it purplish blue? doesn't like waiting. We could help him relax by singing the, the Boomy, Boomy Boom, Boom Song. Hmm. How's it go again? I can never remember the pattern. Saturn? A pattern, something that repeats over and over in the same order. Three boomies, then one boom. Two boomies, then two booms. Oh, 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 it's Boomy 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 Boom Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three boomies, then two booms. I'll write down three, then two on this piece of toilet paper so we'll remember. Boomy, 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 boom, boom. Boomy, 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 boom, boom. Go! All right! Ooh. He went in the potty. Since it came four, like this, flush it away. Then six, six. flush your hands. Shout hooray! He's the king of the party! <laughs> A party making machine! Ruh -roh. He can go where he goes and be totally clean! Behold! Cat's amazing drawing! The circles! Ooh. Awesome! Mm. Breathtaking beauty. Oh, dazzling perfection. Good stuff. Tell me, oh, great artist, why do you draw only circles? What is it about them that you love? How do they inspire you? Tell us. Please, 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 please. please, please. please. I like circles because they're round. I like circles because they're round. They make me make a happy sound. Trauma! I like circles because they're round. Ooh, would you ever draw a square? I don't think so. One rectangle? Oh, no. How about a sphere? I like my shapes flat. A triangle! It's just not cat. <laughs> Why doesn't he draw other shapes? The artist cannot say. But let his soul adore his fans. Be thankful every day that 
likes circles, cause they're round. He likes circles, cause they're round. They make you make a happy sound. He likes circles, because they're round. I still like triangles. <sighs> Thanks for a great banquet, Chef Toad. And your amazing crew! We couldn't have solved the mystery I made Ninja Banquet history Without a few really useful clues There are little things you can use When you're feeling confused About what to do or where to go From somewhat subtle hints To big old bottom prints They'll tell you what you need In half. I guess we got caught up in the moment. Oh, well, I needed a new saxophone anyway. Maybe let's just stick to pizza. Oh, yeah. We can cut it in half. We can cut it in half. It isn't very difficult to do. Our competent staff. We'll slice it in half. Tis the season to be jolly. La, 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 la. Follow me a merry measure. <laughs> what? I don't understand a word of this song. <laughs> follow me a merry measure? What does that even mean? I understand fa la 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 la, but. That means like we're having hot cocoa. Happy holiday to you, right? Yes! Fa la 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 la. la, la. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Peg plus cat, peg plus cat. Peg plus cat. Peg plus cat. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Peg plus cat. cat and a peg plus cat. cat. Six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. ten. Peg plus cat, cat. peg plus cat. cat. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> peg plus cat and a peg plus cat. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Peg plus cat! <laughs> Egg. <laughs> My friend. 
And here's Ball and Spunky. Well, this guy's big and chunky. We've each got a different physique. They all with some links come with their own strengths and help us do something unique. Mouth fits in tight spaces and finds great hiding places. So many objects he can fit inside. They're always good for giving friends a ride. Different, different sizes, sizes, different shapes. We each have different things we can do. So whether you're tall or small, your size is the best of all. Mistakes were the worst things I could make, sir. When she'd make them, they'd shake her. Whoa, every day. Now when I do a dumb thing, I make sure to learn something. And I move right on from things to find my When I need an equation, do I give up no way? Huh? To myself, I say, hey, son, whoa, let's not try. Then I work the whole day through, till I make a great breakthrough. And I shout, hip hooray, you see the light. Billy Holiday, the awesomely incredible singer. Billy, do you ever make mistakes? When I'm learning a new song, I'll sing too loud. Thing that I do wrong, I can't stand, but I don't say forget it. I keep on till I get it. Soon enough, you can bet it's sounding great. Peg and Cat, when you guys are solving problems, you never make mistakes, do you? Well, you know, I was sneezing. She did not know the reason. It was not very pleasing. Oh, oh you know that's true. We, we made so many goofs, yo. But they led to a truth, yo. That wherever we two go, go, I'll be with you. That wherever we two go, I'll be with you. We 
We were taking a break from shooting our video when we came upon some really cool shells. They kind of glow. We wanted to share them with our friends, Peg and Cat. Everybody wants them. What to do about that? We got a problem? No. Because of a way of dividing things up that I know it's called fair sharing. 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was swinging through the branches with no particular plans. When she found these big leaves, you can use them as fans. She wants us to wave them as we dance merrily, but she doesn't know how many to give us each. We got a problem? No! Because of a way of dividing things up that we know it's called fair sharing. Fair sharing. Fair sharing. Fair sharing. Fair sharing. We're cranky, our singing is as bad as can be. But when we're happy, we sing in sweet harmony. Thanks to fair sharing, fair sharing, fair sharing, fair sharing, fair sharing. Are we the jolliest pirates by far? Yes, we. Before I forget, we need your help with this other new thing we got. It's out in the field by Jeremiah's tree. Jeremiah's my grandmom's granddad. He planted that tree so long ago. It's our family tree. And here is our groovy new double-digit music <gasps> machine. <gasps> This thing is so far out. You said it, Cat. It's supposed to play music about our favorite numbers. But high-tech stuff isn't our thing. We can't get a sound out of it. And, and that's, that's a, a big, big problem. problem. I can totally get the music machine started with the help of this instruction booklet. That thing's no help at all. Watch. Step three, put the blue plug into the blue hole. Ugh, it won't fit. Definitely not fitting. Because you didn't unwrap it. Hm. It should say unwrap it. It does. Step one. Mm, step nine. Adjust the volume. I turned it way up, but I don't hear anything. Me neither. Because it doesn't have batteries yet. It should say put in batteries. Put in batteries. Step six. Oh. That's your problem, grandparents. You gotta follow the steps in order. Far out. <laughs> and instead of counting the steps one, two, three, you go first, second, and third using ordinal numbers like this. First, unwrap the blue plug. Done. Second, unwrap the red plug. Done. Third, put the blue plug in the blue hole. So much easier when it's unwrapped. Fourth, put the red plug in the red hole. Even a cat can do it. Fifth, open the battery hatch. Okay. Sixth, put in the batteries. Seventh, remove the plastic shipping protector. Ah! Eighth, press the purple button. Nine, adjust the volume. All right. And ten, get ready to rock. Groovy. Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. Problem solved. Clothes dry isn't. That's 
indeed. It's bottomless, as am I. <laughs> ah, I just realized you don't wear pants. I'm a cat. Why would I wear pants? Are cat pants even a thing? Guys, I brought my clay peg and clay cat and clay Richard dogs so we could have a play date. More like a clay date? Nice. <laughs> But all we've done so far is wait for Peg's clothes to dry and talk about cat pants. If I weren't so mature, I'd whine about it. Sorry, Richard, but we can't play until the dryer's done. My hat's in there. I love my hat. It has the perfect attributes. Attributes? Things like color, shape, and size. Those are attributes. And so far as the term applies to hats, they're attributes. I see what you did there. Attributes describe a thing in clear, specific ways. Like small and round and soft and well, I could go on for days. When you find the hat, that's it. You totally come in to your perfect fit. Ah, yeah, I love my hat. hat. Hey, that's the same way I feel about you and Kat. You have the perfect attributes. Or catributes, ha! That I need in a pair of playmates. Tall, small, female, feline, which means cat-like. Cat-like? Well, if you can just wait until the dryer's done. But I can't wait. I'm impatient. If I weren't so mature, I'd cry about it. <laughs> Great. I'm impatient and immature. I've got a bunch of big Dizzy cat? My peg and cat dolls have most of the same attributes as you guys. Tall, small, female, feline. I'll just play with these until the dryer's finished. Great! And so... Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. Problem solved. The dryer's finished. That you laugh. There are lots of things you can compare on a graph. But the one thing you can't charge is how you feel in your heart. You never have to worry, you never have to stress. I couldn't love you anymore, I'll never love you less. I'll shout it from the rooftop. Can shoot a doo Santa as a tree. There are oh so many things that we can do with three. But you don't need three to tell that I think you're really swell. You, you never, never have, have to worry. worry. You, you never, never have, have to stress. I couldn't love you anymore. I'll never love you less. I'll sing it from the treetops. I really must confess. I, I couldn't, couldn't love you anymore. anymore. I'll never Less of the finite stuff. Less olives in the salad. Yeah. And less choice of chairs at the table. Yeah. You don't really care about those things, though, do you, Jesse? Not so much. What you really care about is your mom's love. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that, Jesse. 
Your mother's love is infinite. It's like the stars above. Her love cannot be counted. She'll always have more love. She can love another person, another two or three, and still love you so much, as much as much can ever be. It's not like chairs or olives You never need to doubt Your mother's love is infinite It won't run out Aww. That's great for those guys But what about us? One last piece of pie Well then we struggle to be fair But when it comes to hugging You never have to doubt The love we share is infinite It won't run out Oh, thank God gets it. Jewels are finite But friendship and love are infinite The infinite stuff's way more important and that's why we stay together! Uh, even the clowns drink mustard! I mean, understand! It's true for me and you and we It's true for everybody How can there be infinity Inside that little body? out of me. And as we play these cool instruments, we're going to totally rock out in three. Totally rock it in three. Say what? Usually, we play music in four. That means we use a musical pattern where the beat goes... One, two, three, four. One, one two, two, three, three four. four. But when you're playing in three, the beat goes one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And groove and really move in one, two, three, one, two, three. Smooth and nibbly, skipping, simply, and lovely, one, two, three. My string broke. Without a string to strum, I can't play music in three or four or anything. This is a big problem. Ah! Whoa! <gasps> That's it, you up, down, uh, over, and around genius! Huh? You went flying up... Way away from the ground! Then down... Right back towards the ground! Up and down are opposites, Cat. That means they're totally different. Then I went over you... Right up over my head, onto that wheel, and then you went in circles around the wheel. And how does all that make me a genius? Because... We can move this old wire in those four ways to replace the string on my U. Check it out. First, we 
First, we'll pull the wire up, and then we'll pull this end down. Up and down! Next, we'll bring it over this knobby thingy, and then we'll wrap it around. Around and around and around! Yeah! We fixed my Yuki. Yo, call off your bats and owls, your nightness. My creatures of the night will move away from a step if you walk along its line of symmetry. It's what? The line of symmetry's the name of the line that makes both sides the same. The line of symmetry goes right down the middle. It can go up and down. It can go straight across. It can go from the top on one side to the bottom on the other. But I don't see a line down the middle of any of these shapes. You'll find the lines and walk across them gaily. If you play this magic ukulele. A youth with magic powers? All righty, this night. Symmetry on that moon shape. When I walk along the line of symmetry, the bats and owls move and groove. You solve the mysterious riddle, that line going right down the middle. You're crossing each moon and each star. You've reached the king's wall, here you are. Fancy suit. I was just elected mayor of Moo Haven, a small town of 60 cows. How's your election going? Not well. The pig's winning because he's doing silly things. Uh. <laughs> you need to let the chickens know who you are and what you're good at. Like what? How about counting? It's even cooler than boiling your tail. They're not saying a lot. Counting? Well, it's worth a shot. One, two, three, four, sliding down the cellar door. Five, six, seven, eight, on your counting candidate. She's back, she's back. She'll count every chick and every egg. Cause everyone and every two can count on big to count on you. She's back, she's back. She'll count hopping on one leg. Yes, chickens big and chickens small can count on big to count them all. She's back, she's back. She's back, she's back.
decorating the van I love for the Mardi Gras parade. What are these sticking circle thingies? Musical notes. How high the circle is tells you how high to sing. Like this one on the first, second line. Huh? First and second are ordinal numbers for one and two. You can count that way when things go in order. The circle on the second line means sing this high. La. The circle on the first line means la. And the circle in the space between the first and the second lines means la. So all together, la, 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 la. Love them I love. You guys ready to roll? The van I love. He's flat broke. Without the van I love. We can't ride in the parade. We've got a big, big problem. problem. We got more than that. We've got a really, really big, big problem. problem. And we got the blues. Talk to me, Billy. We got a problem. It is enormous if the band's not working. No parade for us. The engine's busted. I can't fix it, ma'am. I sure wish we had a diagram. Uh, say what? A diagram's a picture that shows where things go. Like these. It's a really great picture, not a diagram, though. No. Not no This one does. A diagram it is. A diagram for the wheels. We need one for the engine. To solve our problems for real. This was just a box with a bunch of colored lines. It's got pictures of four pipes of four different colors, just like the engine. This shows where the pipes go. Oh, this here thing we can use. Oh, yeah. So according to the diagram, first is red. First is red. First is red. Just like she said. Second blue. Second blue. Second blue. A shooby doo doo. Third is green. Third is green. Red, blue, green. That's what I mean. What's after third? Can't think of the word. The ordinal four. Can't wait no more. First, second, third, and fourth. Fourth is white. Fourth is white. All right, all right. Fourth, fourth is white. Hey there, Peg. Ramon, is that you? I never miss Mardi Gras. So, how come you're not playing? Cat's sounding incredible, and Billy's this amazing singer. They're both way better than me, and the crowd totally loves them. So why should I play? You're missing the point, Peg. It's not about how loud the crowd is cheering when you play. It's not about how many sparks and bees they throw your way. It's not about how many autographs that they demand. The only thing that matters is you're part of the band. We're all making music. We're part of the song. So feel the beat and strum a blow and plunk or sing our own. We're doing it together. That's how music is made. All four of us. All five, six, six seven, eight, eight. Nine. The whole parade. It's not about who's number one or two or five or eight. It's not about who wins a prize or trophies by the crate. It's not about becoming famous all across the land. I think I really get it now. Yeah, I understand. I love to play, I'll be okay. Just keep in time, so lucky I'm part, part of the band. band. We are totally rocking the Mardi Gras parade. And so... The problem solved. The problem solved. The problem solved. The problem solved. The problem is completely solved. So we solve things through diagrams and ordinal numbers. The problem has been solved. I love my bed. You can have a perfect picnic with the pig. When little goes with little. Have a pear and apple plumber fig. When little goes with little. I'm bad, well, bad. You can wear a giant hat or a little beanie. When big goes with big. And teeny goes with teeny. Let's all do a wild and crazy jig. If you're little, go with little. And big with big. <laughs> it makes me really jolly when. Shake it, shake it. 
shake a shake a do. Rocky Squabble Roo! So that's our perfect picnic with Fred. Cat and friends. And pig. Wow. We're little goes with little and big with big. Do it. Well, these cards on their backs have really cool facts about where players hit more and less. What happened before can happen some more. So we made an educated guess. When you need to know, will it be high or low? That a ball might be hit, thrown, or kicked. Check what happened, happened before, before and make, make a good, good guess. Juliet. Check it out. You two want to be between the balconies, right? Indeed. Tis true. But the dinosaur's head is between the balconies. Tis true. Indeed. And so, you got a head to the head. <laughs> totally! Could you give us a diagonal line, please? That's the one that goes like this. Walk this way. Now if you can make your back horizontal. That's one of these bad boys. Let's have the neck be diagonal. And now vertical. Take it straight up. With the sky above and the earth below. I'm between the balconies with my Romeo. Thanks to horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines, they kept their promises. Math can make dealing with a dinosaur just fine for sure. <gasps> Another dino rhyme. Good one, Cat. And so... Problem solved. The problem is solved. They solve the problem. So everything is... Okay. 
We feel glee vertically. Look at me. With the three G I P T G I P T. I love painting. <laughs> Do you love painting? Yes! And dancing? <gasps> and mountain climbing! Do you love... Yes! Oopsie! Oh, a sphere is a solid shape that certainly does a roll. <laughs> oh, wait for me. Yes! You can't just keep saying yes! I'd say more, but you wouldn't know when to move your lips. I'd move my lips more, but you wouldn't know what to say. We could say a lot of stuff to her that isn't yes if I sing her a song and you move your lips in rhythm. She'd love that song about solid shapes. I can't remember the words to that song. You don't have to. Just move your lips in time as I sing. Solid shapes are the shapes for me. And height. They've got all three cylinders, a box or ball, solid shapes. They've got it all. Ooh, that is my very favorite song. Then you should really sing along. Solid shapes. You know I love my solid shapes. Oh, the shapes for me. The shapes I really long to see. Blank width and height. Long and wide and also high. They've got all three. They sing their praises to the sky. Cylinders. They have circles on the ends. A box or ball. The cube and sphere are my best friends. Solid shapes. I step them tall so they won't fall. They've got it all. Yes, large or small, they have it all. We're in Mexico City. Hola, Mexico City. We're here so that cat can visit a lady cat named Rosanna. Ah, oh, Rosanna. Rosanna is smart and clever and funny. She's also crazy about music. So tonight, I'm going to lemonade her with a song. You're going to serenade her. Huh? Serenade means playing music in someone's honor. It's such a sweet thing to do. And for my serenade, I'm bringing a whole group of musicians with me. See? Hola! They're called a mariachi band. And man, can they rock. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Orale! Don't let the size of our first act fool you. They may be tiny, but boy, can they put on a show. Introducing Richard, Baby Fox, and Littlest Chicken. So, Richard. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to... <laughs> I forget what I like to do, and now I'm ruining everything! And what about you, Baby Fox? What do you like to do? <laughs> Just adorable. Hi there, Littlest Chicken. Do you know all your lines? Nope. And with that, you three can take it away! <clears throat> I'm not giant, colossal, or hefty. Not lanky, humongous, or tall. There's no need to flatter. The truth of the matter is size-wise, I am small. Some say I'm the smallest, but I can't agree. Through my travels, I've found there are others around who are even smaller than me. Presenting small, smaller, smallest cheap, small, smaller, smallest. I'm small, you see, but he's smaller than me. This little chick is the smallest of the three. There's a lot we could do for each other that we never could do for ourselves. Like achieving the loafla from under your sofa. Or cookies up high on shelves. There are rides that we'll never ride on and movies we'll never see. But whatever the weather, we weather together, wherever we will be. Small, small, smallest cheese. Little 
chick is the smallest of the three. What a performance! Now let's see what our judges think. Parrot? I don't like that it hurt my ears. I like that it's over. Five stars! Five stars? But well, we really want to get ten stars. No one should be unhappy on the perfect ten. We've got a problem. Unless Peg and Cat can give them enough stars to equal ten. Peg and Cat? I really like their song. So catchy. Now let's see. Parrot gave the group one, two, three, four, five stars. So to figure out how many stars make ten, we just need to count these other fingers. Oh, I'll help. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to give the group five, five stars. stars. Our first group received five stars and five more stars. So all together, they have ten stars. They liked us. They really liked us! Hooray! <laughs> Here come the kids! Oh, So cute! Oh, Peg and Cat, thanks for helping us save the parade for these kids. I'm glad we got it all sorted out. Nothing spoils a beautiful day like garbage strewn about. But garbage won't stand in our way. And, and so, so we, we sorted, sorted it out. We sorted it out. We sorted it out. The field was filled with pollution. We sorted it out. They sorted it out. Yes, sorting was the solution. We knew the parks need a change. We did and sulk or pout. We rolled our sleeves and began to arrange. That's right, we sorted it out. We sorted it out. We sorted it out. We joined the sorting brigade. We sorted it out. They sorted it out. Sorting sing a parade. As the kids were on their march, I had a moment of doubt. Then I saw Cat, he made an arch. And so we sorted it out. We sorted it out. We sorted it out. Oh, what sorting can do? We sorted it out. They sorted it out. The world looks good as new. The world looks good as new. That's what you call symmetry. So that's, that's what, what you call symmetry. symmetry. We've got some pizza and some friends who all deserve slice. Am I wrong or is this song a math teaching device? There's ten of us and ten of them, so here's what can be done. Everybody separate up and take away one. Ten! Take away one is nine! nine. Take away one is eight! eight. And do it really quick when you take away one. It isn't just for pizza, no, it works with anything. Blue balloons, gold doubloons, the rubies in a ring. And whether you're divvying up a pie or trying to unsack birds, taking one away is really just the counting backwards. Five! Take away one is four! Take away one is three! three. And we're almost done. Yes! The last one is for you. Don't mind if I do. Take away one. I had too much stuff. Ninja life was rough. We took some away, and now I won't find. Thank you, minus sign. Uh, uh, Ooh. You won't get far as a ninja star if you can't hold under the line. Thank you, Minus Sign. One, two, three, four colorful balls. Let's get them out of our way. 
four, three, two, one, got them all. Minus sign, take it away. Harry says taking away one is just like counting backwards. Really? We didn't just hear no how to disappear. Come in your clan of mine. Four minus one is three. Minus one is two. Minus one is one. Minus one is none. Thank you, minus sign. Let us celebrate the power of the pan balance with a song. Put your arms to the side like a couple of pens and add a little weight to one. Then a little to the other until it's exact. That's why they call it the balancing act. Ooh, do the balancing act. If your scale's uneven and starting to tip, take a little tip from me. Adjust the weight till the arm is straight. You can add or subtract. It's, it's a balancing, balancing act. act. Ooh, Act. Balance in the desert on a camel's humps. Balance on a pyramid. When you can't afford to guess which is more or less, do the balancing act. You'll be glad you did. Hi, hi, hi. So whether you're the queen of an ancient land or a guy who looks like Mac, you can dance while you drop. And that's a fact. So everybody do the balancing act. Ooh, do the balancing act. see them again. She's really into those pyramids. I know. How did you get them back, you amazing knights? Shall we tell? Sure, let's tell. Well, we were running round a circle. Our table oh so round. Then you told us of your pyramids. They needed to be found. We were all for these. Three lovely cubes. Belonging to a toad. When the pyramids all vanished, there appeared. A sphere that glowed. We were fearless facing danger. We were swift when on the run But, but we, we had, had to know, know our shapes Just to get the job done And then? And then? And then? We held on to a cylinder It carried us away To a dragon With three spheres Who wanted us to stay and play Past all these giant cylinders We bravely flew To the king's crown head The golden pyramids Woohoo! It was thrilling It was awesome It was funny It was fun But, but you, you had, had to know your shapes I really love these great you had to know your shapes just to get the job done. I still like triangles. There's 24 of us up here with the world's biggest band. And I can say for sure 24 is more than you can count on both your hands. But even if two of three more chicks came up and joined the group, we wouldn't tell each other. Tag them to the telly. Let me give you books to scoop. When, when you're, you're counting, counting in the twenties, just start with twenty. Woo! Then count on up from one to nine, like you normally do. No matter what you're counting and whatever the amount. If you can count from one to ten, my golly, that's what counts. And hey, here comes some more chickens to join the band. So that makes twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven of us in the band. That's a big band. I have a question. What about counting in the 30s? I'm glad you asked that, little pig. Farmer, take it away! There was a farmer who had 30 bulls, and he bought an extra two. He wanted to count the total amount, but he didn't know what to do. Hey, now, Mr. Farmer, don't you fret and don't you fear. No amount of bull is uncountable, so just you listen here. When you're counting in the 30s, just start with 30. Then count on up from one to nine, like you normally do. No matter what you're counting and whatever the amount. If you can count from one to ten. My golly, that's what counts. So the farmer had 30 bulls, then he bought two more. So that's 31, 32 bulls. Well, I'll be holding cloud. But tell me, Peg, what about counting larger numbers, like 40 or 50 or 60? I'm glad you asked that, Mr. Goat. Up to 99. So no matter what you're counting. By the pound. Oh, by the ounce. 
If you can count from one to ten. By golly, that's what counts. If you can count from one to ten. By golly, that's what counts. <laughs> that we have no table. I have no idea. And no table. Wizard from Mo. I know the beast who makes you moan. The weirdest creature ever known. You rip the heel right off your sock. Square. A grape right off the dock. Cube. The worm right off a rock. Cylinder. The dreaded blabberwock. The dreaded blabberwock. His name is the Blabberwocky, but he's also called the Blabberwock for short. I've seen this monster once before, when from my head he stole the door. Rectangle! Now all can see me in my jammies, my friends, my aunts, my two grandmommies. <laughs> He'll grab the key right from your locky. Triangle! The cover of your clocky. Rectangle! The spots right off your smocky. Circle. The naughty blabber walkie. The naughty blabber walkie. He's taken spheres and pyramids, every cube that he could get. A circle. And a rectangle. But not one triangle. Not yet. The castle's filled with triangles. The creature's heading there, no doubt. I'll drop you off to face the beast. I'd help, but that thing creeps me out. You swipe the puck right from your hockey. Circle. The house right off your blocky. Two. The hickory dickory from your docky. I have no idea what that means. No idea. He'll startle, scare, and shocky. The, the dreaded, dreaded, very naughty blabber wacky. Thanks for dropping us off at the castle, Ramon. I do what I can. <laughs> you took them all. What have you done? I love those trinkets, every single one, and every big neck, shiny front or slick back. These judges too, I call them what she goes. He loves them smoother with fun. Nobody else but us does. What did he say his name was? I'm off to search the world for more. Little goodies go more. Let's gather trinkets that we all adore. We'll go together, each with his or her own feather. Getting more and more forever. Trinkets and knickknacks too. So the neighbor ladies teamed up with the sheriff of Nottingham... ...to go around taking little thingy things. People far and wide will have less stuff. Huh. Less safety. Less happiness. But I'll be on their trail, so there will be more of one thing. Oh, yeah. That's right. The more the adventures of Robin Hood. That's me. To award the victorious gophers ninny Wawa patches, the camp director. On field or stream or sand Win or lose is all right If you're fair and polite And having fun in a certain pattern Singing daily every day Laughing daily as you play Singing me me la la Laughing tea ha ha That's the new day
new song! New song! New song! have a new dance for you. And to start things off, here's someone who can really shake a leg. Come on up here. Me? 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 Cat! Uh, me? <sighs> if it couldn't be me. I'm glad it was he. Totally good choice, Peg. Are you ready, Cat? I was born ready. Now, long ago, on the way to our show, we're like, hold up, yo, we don't know where to go. Slide. Do, 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 do the slide. slide. Now here's another step that we want you to learn. When you move around a point, it's called a turn. Turn, turn. Do, do the turn. And here's the last move to add to your collection when you flip your facing the opposite direction. Flip, flip. Do, do, do a flip. Now put them all together and like, what do you get? It's a brand new dance that'll make you sweat. So come on, everybody, join in the fun. We're the Penta Girls and we're number one. A chicken! I am. 
Producer from Moon, are you here to help us? Sure, Peg. Also, I love triangle chips. Cat and I want to sing the silliest song in the land for the king on his birthday. But we can't even sing a half of it. Then why don't you sing a fourth of it? A fourth? May I? Whoa. I get it. We can divide our halves in half. So now we have one, two, three, four parts. Yep, when you divide something into four equal parts, each part is a fourth. We can divide the song into fourths. One, two, three, four verses. Thanks, Wizard Ramon. I do what I can. So I split my half in half. And I split my half in half. One, two. Three, four. There, our song is divided into fourths. Now we just need two more singers to sing with us. Good dragon and fair mermaid. We need you each to sing one fourth of the song. I'll try. Okie doke. I'll take the part with the knock knock joke since I was able to sing it before. Dragon, you try the song first. Oh, oh, can I have the chicken verse again? I kind of crushed it. Sure, sir, cat. And mermaid, that leaves you with the silly noises. I'll do my best. Bar out. Hurry on, Dad. Happy birthday! Peace, love, joy, groovy tunes, everything I love made by the people I love. And look what the doves are making. 68! So beautiful. So, like, why do you like the 60s so much? She wonders why I'm just a 60s guy. Give me a curly six, a super groovy six, one single digit at the start. With a zero right beside it, that six just cannot hide it. It's a work of art. On the top of the chart. Gonna rock your groovy heart. Cause it's a 60, 60. Lifties. Lifties. Cooler than the 50s or 60s. I still like the teens. But the 60s are totally cool too. Check it out. When I want some groovy fun, I count my way to 61. By 62, I'm grooving even more. And it sets my spirit free when I get to 63. And I love the purple haze of 65. I feel alive at 65, you know I want to drive on the route to 66 right off the line. 67 is like heaven, 68 is super great. And there's only one more sign, must be 69. And that's the 60. You know 
what she means. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The teens. We're the teens. Could I get some more water? Senorita, Siete forgot to bring her trombone. I am filled with shame. You gotta have trombone. This is a big problem. Un gran problema. Un gran problema. Musical genius, you can make a trombone sound with your lips. Well, I've never done it professionally. Give it a try. Muy bien. So delightful. Muy talent. Muy realistico. It's perfect. And so... Problem song. The problem is song. We solve the problem. Problema resuelto. <laughs> High and low here and there. But now that I've seen your face, it's like love is all over the place. Oh, there is love everywhere, high above me and way down below. Above and below. From the top of my head to the tip of my toe. Oh. <laughs> Whether love is in front or behind me, where I cannot see. In front or behind. There is love everywhere, all oh, because you are right next to me. to me. Don't, but I'm a cat, so... Just think of it like circles and semicircles, cat. Jesse and Tessa want one, two whole pies. And Mora wants one half pie. So a semicircle is a half a circle? You got it. Now serve those teens. Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. Problem solved. Awesome singing. Awesome service. Awesome sauce. Literally. Glad you like it. Can we get you anything else, the teens? Actually, today is my cousin's BFF's half birthday. That means she's turning 13 and a half years old. Hello? So, could you guys, like, keep singing and dancing to help us celebrate this special day? Well, why not? Oh, well, it's not every day some random person turns 13 and a half. Here goes nothing. Steep up, a loop up, skadida doo -ra. Apparently, we're singing jazz. Interpretively prancing. Too busy is the modern jazz. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Where's this jazz music coming from? From there. Where? Bear. Hey, three bears. Hey, one peg and one cat. What brings you here? We were feeling empty inside. And it wasn't the blues. You dig? Uh, for treasure on occasion. What we're saying is, we're hungry for some of your peg delicious pizza. <laughs> yeah. Pizza, of course. What can we get you? Hey, Peg and Cat, what gives? I thought you were, like, entertaining us. Or do you suddenly not care about my cousin's BFF's 13th and a half birthday? <gasps> oh, no. How are we supposed to serve the three bears and entertain the teens? This is a really big problem. <laughs> Cat, huh? you can entertain the teens with your dancing while I serve the three bears. Sounds good, Daddy-o. I want one whole pizza, yes, sirree. Mm, that 
That sounds good. The same for me. Me too, pig. So that makes three. Plus another half. Oh, yeah. So that's one, two, three pizzas and one half pizza. You got it? I got it. Then go, go on, on and, and get, get it. Psst, cat. Did you get everything? Well, not exactly. I was going to get all the stuff, but the pirates were like, ah, and they were using our things for a boat, and I was like, come back. And they were like, we can't. And then they sailed away and left their boat in our garage. I knew that would happen. <sighs> I guess we won't be able to use those things to get you down. Ugh, then I'm stuck in a tree. <laughs> well, yes, but just because we don't have those things we used last time, it doesn't mean we can't get you down. There's always more than one way to solve a problem. Really? Yeah. Allow me to demonstrate. If you're about to cross the Great Divide and your bridge falls in, fun to float. There's more than one way to solve a problem. There's more than one way to solve a problem. You can fly across the water in a big hot air balloon. Or hop along some turtle shells floating in the lagoon. You can grab onto a dangling rope and swing yourself across. Or climb aboard a catapult and give yourself a toss. There's more than one way to solve a problem. There's more than one way to solve a problem. You climbed rope and pole to my window. You shimmied and leaped to reach me. Would you do it all again? Totally. Horizontal river in a leaky old canoe. I would sail across it gladly to get to you. Any vertical tall tower reaching straight into the blue. I would charge right up it madly to get to you. I'd battle across any highway. Struggle to climb. Lift me or drop me, nothing can stop me. Nothing is too far to get to where you are. Any road that's horizontal. One that drops down vertically. I would cross them cause I want tall. You are to me. And there's nothing that I wouldn't do to get to you. Cross any space to get to your face. Across any pile to get to your smile. I'd sing dee doo doo to soft shoe with you. I'd risk any tangle to reach my triangle. I'd leap over any observer. Go under any straight cat. No one can block me. Horizontal seesaws, any vertical chimney. I face anything you see, cause you get to me, and there's nothing that I wouldn't do. You mean it? It's totally true. There's nothing that I wouldn't do to get to you. It's strange, but true. I'm sorry we didn't end up having the perfect pirate play date, everyone. Sure we did, Peg. We argued. We sang off K. We broke the ship. And we fixed it again. What more do you want from a pirate play date? <laughs> I never thought of it like that. And most importantly, we learned something. Like pieces of a puzzle, or a lock and key. Certain things in life just fit together to a T. So even if we fight a bit, and sometimes try to flee, it's simply true that I belong with you and you with me. Oh, we fit together, and together we will stay. We will be together for forever and a day. Even when we're cranky, we cannot stay away. Cause we fit together, and together we will stay. Ha! Sure we have our differences. Everybody does. We squabble over buckles. And fragrant 
special fuzz. But when we finish fighting, can't remember what it was. A god is fighting in the first place, probably because we, we fit, fit together, together and, and together, together we will stay. Why will be together for forever and a day? Sometimes I cannot understand the word he has to say. We cannot stay away. Cause we I was on my own searching far and wide Couldn't get anywhere till you were by my side Now we face the search together There's treasure where it ends And the treasure of time with our friends When I get stuck I just might have a clue When I get confused oh. to pull you through We put our heads together on his mate depends. We sail away to treasure with our friends. Working as a team until the day is done. It's smarter and it's quicker and a lot more fun. We'll remember every journey long after it ends. A treasure every day we spend with friends. The golden treasure of our time. twice. Oh, Big Dog wants to be Little Red Riding Hood, whom they say is little. The costume's too small for you, see? Cat's the shortest, so he'll play Little Red Riding Hood. And when you stand on two legs, you're the tallest, so you'll play the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter, big dog? Tired of being so long, so heavy, so tall? <sighs> mm, you've got a big problem. Oh, big dog. We have something to tell you. It may come as a surprise. But each and every one of us has a different size. So if we held a contest for who takes up the most space, you win the gold medal. The very hardest to hide is With your size, you're good at taking charge Ooh. You're the longest, the tallest The least smallest of all is Yes, yes you big dog, dog are really, really large <laughs> You stand up from the crowd So stand up and be proud Don't crouch down or make yourself look small Cause you at being big. People of the United States, the world, and everywhere else. It's the President of the United States, Mom! This morning, something really embarrassing happened to the Vice President and myself. After consulting with my Directors of National Problem Solving, I have decided to reveal our embarrassing secrets. So embarrassing! Right, Blanky Wanky? My fellow citizens, our nation is facing some really big problems. To solve them, we'll have to take big risks and probably endure some big embarrassments. But we won't let that stop us. So I say, don't be afraid to look ridiculous. Ridiculous. To seem a little silly now and then. Now and then. It happens to us all. Uh, we stumble even uh, fall. Uh, we stumble right back up and try again. Your hair a mess and bruises on your knee. Keep smiling when you spill. Eventually you will trip your way to victory. When there's pie on my face, I get right back in the race. When I'm stuck upside down, I get right back on the ground. When I'm shriveling and slipping and breaking furniture and getting the hiccups on national television. Mr. Vice President. It's okay, they get it. And laughing till milk comes out my nose. It's okay, it's okay, they get the point. Which is... Don't be afraid 
to seem preposterous. Preposterous. Your underwear is showing all can see. All can see. Keep on smiling when you spill. Spill. And eventually oh. you will. Trip your way to victory. Sweet victory. Trip your way to victory. <laughs> It seems like only yesterday You used to creep and crawl You couldn't walk, you couldn't talk Couldn't do much at all Then you grew a little bigger And turned into a tot You made a sound and soon I found You liked to talk a lot <laughs> You were growing, growing Bigger than before Every day you grew some more You were growing When I was just a kitten I was tall as a cup of tea But with some time I hit my prime Now I'm tall as three We're bigger than we've ever been And we know how to count We to like sing a big song? I was, yeah. Cause I'm kind of tired. Me too. Maybe let's not sing one this time. Fine with me. But what a song we could sing if we felt like singing a song. Yeah, you could start it off slowly. And soon we'd be singing along. We could summarize all of the math that we learned over the course of the show. Yeah, we know, but we're not gonna sing that song. We don't mean to refuse to entertain or amuse, but we're, we're not gonna sing that song. We're tired from all that seen. Singing on a jet ski. So as much as we'd like to wax ecstatic. On the subject of all things mathematic. We've been doing that all day long. So we're not gonna sing that song. And the babe would probably sing. I would probably sing about my favorite thing, about this little vacation. What was that? Of the path that we chose to fly apart and across the triangle of our But we're not going to sing that song. We don't need to be selfish. But there's lemonade and shellfish. So we're not going to sing that song. I'm not gonna say you're wrong, but I wish we had some. We could still maybe sing. Cause I think we just sing that song. <sighs> Anyone else think we work too much? Maybe not. 
thing. Why do you float around in a sphere anyway? Good question. Well, I tried floating in a cylinder. Tried floating in a cylinder. But I didn't find a cylinder. Didn't find a cylinder. Then I tried a pyramid. Then he tried a pyramid. But I gave that up, that's what I did. He gave that up, that's what he did. A rectangular prism cube. I said two, four, six, eight. Who do we think is great? The Da, da, da. In the fathers, we've 
everywhere. We need a bath. In winter, there's snow in my hair. We need a bath. In spring, we play outdoors. We need a bath. In summer, we go to the shore. We need a bath. One thing's totally clear. Da -da -da -da. You two need baths all year. Whoa, mama! Splash, splash, oh yeah! Wow, yeah! That's right. Check out me and Cat any time of year. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. Or any time of day. Go to our Totally Rocket website at pbskids.org. Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.